Camilla is Queen of the United Kingdom and 14 other Commonwealth realms as the wife of King Charles III. Camilla became Queen Consort on September 8, 2022, upon the accession of her husband following the death of his mother. Queen Elizabeth II. Camilla was raised in East Sussex and South Kensington in England and educated in England, Switzerland, and France. In 1973, she married British Army officer Andrew Parker Bowles, with whom she has two children, Tom and Laura. They divorced in 1995. Camilla and Charles were romantically involved periodically both before and during each of their first marriages. Their relationship was highly publicized in the media and attracted worldwide scrutiny. In 2005, Camilla married Charles in the Windsor Guildhall, which was followed by a televised Anglican blessing at St. George's Chapel in Windsor Castle. From the marriage until her husband's accession in 2022, she was known as the Duchess of Cornwall. Camilla carries out public engagements representing the monarchy, often alongside her husband. She is also the patron, the president, or a member of numerous charities and organizations. Since 1994, Camilla has campaigned to raise awareness of osteoporosis, which has earned her several honors and awards. She has also campaigned to raise awareness of issues such as rape, sexual abuse, literacy, animal welfare, and poverty. Early Life and Education Camilla Rosemary Shand was born at King's College Hospital, London, on July 17, 1947. She grew up in the Lanes an 18th-century country house in Plumpton, East Sussex, and a three-story house in South Kensington, her family's second home. Her parents were British Army officer-turned-businessman Major Bruce Shand and his wife the Honourable Rosalind Cubitt, daughter of Roland Cubitt, 3rd Baron Ashcombe. She has a younger sister, Annabelle Elliott, and had a younger brother, Mark Shand. One of her maternal great-grandmothers, Alice Keppel, was a mistress of King Edward VII from 1898 to 1910. On November 1, 1947, Shand was baptized at St. Peter's Church, Firle, East Sussex. Her mother Rosalind was a charity worker who volunteered at the Cayley Heritage Foundation in the 1960s and 1970s located at North Cayley, East Sussex, while her father had various business interests after retiring from the army. He was most notably a partner in Block, Gray and Block, a firm of wine merchants in South Audley Street, Mayfair, later joining Ellis, Son and Vidler of Hastings and London. During her childhood, Shand became an avid reader through the influence of her father, who read to her frequently. She grew up with dogs and cats, and, at a young age, learned how to ride a pony by joining pony club camps, going on to win rosettes at community gymkhanas. According to her, childhood was perfect in every way. Biographer Giles Brandreth describes her background and childhood. Camilla is often described as having had an Enid Blyton sort of childhood. In fact, it was much grander than that. Camilla, as a little girl, may have had some personality traits of George, the tomboy girl among the famous five, but Enid Blyton's children were essentially middle-class children and the Shans, without question, belonged to the upper class. The Shans had position and they had help help in the house help in the garden, help with children. They were gentry. They opened their garden for the local Conservative Party Association summer fete. Enough said. When she was five, Shand was sent to Dumrules, a CO educational school in Ditchling Village. She left Dumrules at the age of ten to attend Queen's Gate School in Queen's Gate, South Kensington. Her classmates at Queen's Gate knew her as Milla, her fellow pupils included the singer Twinkle, who described her as a girl of inner strength exuding magnetism and confidence. One of the teachers at the school, the writer Penelope Fitzgerald, who taught French, remembered Shand as bright and lively. Shand left Queen's Gate with one O-level in 1964, 
her parents did not make her stay long enough for A-levels. Aged 16, she traveled to attend the Monday Fertile Finishing School in Tolokinaz, Switzerland. After completing her course in Switzerland, she made her own decision and traveled to France to study French and French literature at the University of London Institute in Paris for six months. On March 25, 1965, Shand was a debutante in London, one of 311 that year. After moving from home, she shared a small flat in Kensington with her friend Jane Wyndham, niece of decorator Nancy Lancaster. She later moved into a larger flat in Belgravia which she shared with her landlady Lady Moira Campbell, the daughter of the Duke of Abercorn, and later with Virginia Carrington, daughter of the politician Peter Carrington, 6th Baron Carrington. Virginia was married to Shan's uncle Henry Cubitt from 1973 until 1979. Shand worked as a secretary for a variety of firms in the West End, and was later employed as a receptionist by the decorating firm Sybil Colfax and John Fowler in Mayfair. She was reportedly fired from the job after she came in late having been to a dance. She became a passionate horse rider, and frequently attended equestrian activities. She also had a passion for painting, which eventually led to her private tutoring with an artist, although most of her work ended up in the bin. Other interests were fishing, horticulture and gardening. Marriages and Children First Marriage In the late 1960s, Shand met Andrew Parker Bowles through his younger brother, Simon, who worked for her father's wine firm in Mayfair. After an on-and-off relationship for years, Parker Bowles and Shand's engagement was announced in The Times in 1973. Sally Bedell Smith claimed that the announcement was sent out by the pair's parents without their knowledge, which forced Parker Bowles to propose. They married on July 4, 1973 in a Roman Catholic ceremony at the Guards Chapel, Wellington Barracks, in London. Shand was 25 years old and Parker Bowles 33. Her wedding dress was designed by British fashion house Belleville Sassoon, and the bridesmaids included Parker Bowles's goddaughter Lady Emma Herbert. It was considered the society wedding of the year with 800 guests. Royal guests present at the ceremony and reception included Queen Elizabeth II's daughter Anne, the Queen's sister Margaret, and Queen Elizabeth the Queen Mother. The couple made their home in Wiltshire, purchasing Bullhide Manor in Allington and later Middlewick House in Corsham. They had two children, Tom, who is a godson of King Charles III, and Laura. Both children were brought up in their father's Roman Catholic faith, particularly during the lifetime of their paternal grandmother Anne Parker Bowles, however, Camilla remained an Anglican and did not convert to Roman Catholicism. Laura attended a Catholic girls' school, but married in an Anglican church, and Tom did not attend Ampleforth College as his father had but Eden and was married outside the Catholic Church. Tom, like his father, is in remainder to the earldom of Macclesfield. In December 1994, after 21 years of marriage, the Parker Bowleses issued divorce proceedings on the grounds they had been living separately for years. In July of that year, Camilla's mother Rosalind had died from osteoporosis, and her father later described this as a difficult time for her. Their petition was heard and granted in January 1995 at the High Court Family Division in London. The divorce was finalized on March 3, 1995. A year later, Andrew married Rosemary Pittman. Relationship with Charles Camilla Shand reportedly met Prince Charles in mid-1971. Andrew Parker Bowles had ended his relationship with Shand in 1970 and was courting Princess Anne, Charles's sister. Though Shand and Charles belonged to the same social circle and occasionally attended the same events, they had not formally met. Their biographer Brandreth states the couple did not first meet at a polo match, as has been commonly believed. Instead, they first met at the home of their friend Lucia Santa Cruz who formally introduced them. 
They became close friends and eventually began a romantic relationship, which was well known within their social circle. As a couple, they regularly met at polo matches at Smith's Lawn in Windsor Great Park, where Charles often played polo. They also became part of a set at Annabelle's in Berkeley Square. As the relationship grew more serious, Charles met Shan's family in Plumpton and he introduced her to some members of his family. The relationship was put on hold after Charles travelled overseas to join the Royal Navy in early 1973, and ended abruptly afterward. There have been different explanations for why the couple's relationship ended. Robert Lacey wrote in his 2008 book Royal, Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II that Charles had met Shan too early, and that he had not asked her to wait for him when he went overseas for military duties. Sarah Bradford wrote in her 2007 book Diana that a member of the close circle of his great-uncle Lord Mountbatten claimed Mountbatten arranged for Charles to be taken overseas to end the relationship with Shand, to make way for an engagement between Charles and his granddaughter Amanda Natchbull. Some sources suggest Queen Elizabeth the Queen Mother did not approve of the match with Shand because she wanted Charles to marry one of the Spencer family granddaughters of her close friend Lady Fermoy. Other sources also suggest Shan did not want to marry Charles but instead wanted to marry Andrew Parker Bowles, having had an on and off relationship with Camilla Parker Bowles since the late 1960s, or that Charles had decided he would not marry until he was 30 years old. Overall, the majority of royal biographers have agreed that Charles would not have been allowed to marry Shan had he sought permission to do so. According to Charles's cousin and godmother Patricia Natchbull, 2nd Countess Mountbatten of Burma, some palace courtiers at that time deemed Shand unsuitable as a prospective consort. In 2005, she stated, with hindsight, you can say that Charles should have married Camilla when he first had the chance. They were ideally suited, we know that now. But it wasn't possible. It wouldn't have been possible not then. Nevertheless, they remained friends. In August 1979, Lord Mountbatten was assassinated by the Provisional Irish Republican Army. Charles was grief-stricken by his death, and reportedly relied heavily on Camilla Parker Bowles for solace. During this period rumours began circulating among close friends of the Parker Bowleses and in polo-playing communities that Camilla and Charles had rekindled their intimate relationship. A source close to Camilla Parker Bowles confirmed that by 1980 they had indeed rekindled as lovers. There are also claims by royal staff that it occurred earlier. Parker Bowles's husband, Andrew, reportedly approved of the affair, while he had numerous lovers throughout their marriage. Nevertheless, Charles soon began a relationship with Lady Diana Spencer, and the two married in 1981. The affair became public knowledge in the press a decade later, with the publication of Diana, Her True Story in 1992, followed by the Camilla Gate tape scandal in 1993, when an intimate telephone conversation between Camilla Parker Bowles and Charles was secretly recorded and the transcripts were published in the tabloid press. The book and tape immediately damaged Charles's public image. Meanwhile, the media vilified Parker Bowles. In 1994, Charles finally spoke about his relationship with Camilla Parker Bowles in Charles, the private man, the public role with Jonathan Dimbleby. He told Dimbleby in the interview, Mrs. Parker Bowles is a great friend of mine, a friend for a very long time. She will continue to be a friend for a very long time. He later admitted in the interview that the relationship between him and Camilla Parker Bowles was rekindled after his marriage had irretrievably broken down in 1986. Image Rehabilitation Second Marriage On February 10, 2005, Clarence House announced that Parker Bowles and the Prince of Wales were engaged, as an engagement ring. Charles gave Parker Bowles a diamond ring that was believed to have been given to his grandmother, Queen Elizabeth the Queen Mother, when she gave birth to Charles's mother. 
the ring comprised a square-cut diamond with three diamond baguettes on each side. As the future Supreme Governor of the Church of England, the prospect of Charles marrying a divorcee was seen as controversial, but with the consent of the Queen, the government and the Church of England, the couple were able to wed. The Queen, Prime Minister Tony Blair, and Archbishop of Canterbury Rowan Williams offered their best wishes and statements to the media. In the two months following the announcement of their engagement, Clarence House received 25,000 letters with 95 or 99 per center being supportive, 908 hate mail letters were also received, with the more threatening and personal ones sent to the police for investigation. The marriage was to have been on April 8, 2005, and was to take place in a civil ceremony at Windsor Castle, with the subsequent religious service of blessing at St. George's Chapel. However, to conduct a civil marriage at Windsor Castle would oblige the venue to obtain a license for civil marriages, which it did not have. A condition of such a license is that the licensed venue must be available for a period of one year to anyone wishing to be married there and as the royal family did not wish to make Windsor Castle available to the public for civil marriages, the venue was changed to the town hall at Windsor Guildhall. On April 4, it was announced that the marriage would be delayed by one day to allow the Prince of Wales and some of the invited dignitaries to attend the funeral of Pope John Paul II. On April 9, 2005, the marriage ceremony was held. The parents of Charles and Camilla did not attend, Instead, Camilla's son Tom and Charles's son Prince William acted as witnesses to the union. The Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh did attend the service of blessing. Afterwards, a reception was held by the Queen for the newlyweds at Windsor Castle. Performers included the St. George's Chapel Choir, the Philharmonia Orchestra, and Welsh composer Alan Hodenot. As a wedding gift, the Marinsky Theatre Trust in St. Petersburg brought a Belarusian mezzo-soprano singer, Ekaterina Semenhuk, to the UK to perform a special song for the couple. Following the wedding, the couple travelled to the Prince's country home in Scotland, Burke Hall, and carried out their first public duties together during their honeymoon. Duchess of Cornwall After becoming Duchess of Cornwall, Camilla automatically acquired rank as the second highest woman in the British order of precedence, and as typically fifth or sixth in the orders of precedence of her other realms, following the Queen, the relevant Viceroy, the Duke of Edinburgh, and the Prince of Wales. It was revealed that the Queen altered the royal order of precedence for private occasions, placing the Duchess fourth, after the Queen, the Princess Royal, and Princess Alexandra. Within two years of the marriage, the Queen extended Camilla visible tokens of membership in the royal family, she lent Camilla the Greville Tiara, which previously belonged to the Queen Mother, and granted her the badge of the royal family order of Elizabeth II. After their wedding, Clarence House, the official residence of Prince Charles, also became Camilla's official residence. The couple also stayed at Burke Hall for holiday events and Highgrove House in Gloucestershire for family gatherings. In 2008, they took up residence at Wynawermod, Wales, where they stay on their visit to Wales every year in the summer and for other occasions. To spend time alone with her children and grandchildren, Camilla still maintains her home Ray Mill House, in which she resided from 1995 to 2003. According to an undated statement from Clarence House, Camilla used to be a smoker but has not smoked for many years. Though no details were publicly released, it was confirmed in March 2007 that Camilla had undergone a hysterectomy. In April 2010, she fractured her left leg while hill walking in Scotland. In November 2010, Camilla and Charles were indirectly involved in student protests when their car was attacked by protesters. Clarence House later released a statement on the incident, a car carrying Prince Charles and the Duchess of Cornwall was attacked by protesters but the couple were unharmed. On April 9, 2012, the seventh wedding anniversary of the Duchess and the Prince of Wales, 
the Queen appointed the Duchess to the Royal Victorian Order. In 2015, the Prince of Wales commissioned a pub to be named after the Duchess situated at Poundbury Village. The pub opened in 2016 and is named the Duchess of Cornwall Inn. On June 9, 2016, the Queen appointed the Duchess as a member of the British Privy Council. On January 1, 2022, she made Camilla a Royal Lady of the Most Noble Order of the Garter. On February 14, 2022, Camilla tested positive for COVID-19, four days after husband had also contracted it, and began self-isolating. She and her husband received their first doses of a COVID-19 vaccine in February 2021. In March 2022 and amid the Russian invasion of Ukraine, Camilla made a substantial donation to the Daily Mail's refugee campaign. Foreign and Domestic Trips Camilla's first solo engagement as Duchess of Cornwall was a visit to Southampton General Hospital, she attended the Trooping the Colour for the first time in June 2005, making her appearance on the balcony of Buckingham Palace afterwards. The Duchess made her inaugural overseas tour in November 2005, when she visited the United States, and met President George W. Bush and First Lady Laura Bush at the White House. Afterward they visited New Orleans to see the aftermath of Hurricane Katrina and met some of the residents whose lives were changed drastically by the hurricane. In March 2006, the couple visited Egypt, Saudi Arabia, and India. In 2007, she conducted the naming ceremonies for HMS Astute and the new Cunard cruise ship, MS Queen Victoria. In November 2007, she toured with the Prince of Wales on a four-day visit to Turkey. In 2008, she and the Prince of Wales toured the Caribbean, Japan, Brunei, and Indonesia. In 2009, they toured Chile, Brazil, Ecuador, Italy, and Germany. Their visit to the Holy See in Italy included a meeting with Pope Benedict XVI. They later visited Canada. In early 2010, they visited Hungary, the Czech Republic and Poland. Camilla was unable to carry out her engagements on their tour of Eastern Europe after developing a trapped nerve in her back. In October 2010, she accompanied the Prince of Wales to Delhi, India, for the opening of the 2010 Commonwealth Games. In March 2011, the Duchess and the Prince of Wales visited Portugal, Spain and Morocco, visiting the heads of state of each country. In June 2011, the Duchess alone represented the British royal family at the 125th Wimbledon Tennis Championships in Wimbledon. In August 2011, the Duchess accompanied the Prince of Wales to Tottenham to visit the aftermath of the London riots. The couple later went to visit with Tottenham residents in February 2012, meeting with local shop owners six months after the riots to see how they were doing. In London on September 11, 2011, the Duchess attended the 10th anniversary memorial service of the 9-11th attacks along with Prime Minister David Cameron and the Prince of Wales. In November 2011, the Duchess travelled with the Prince of Wales to tour the Commonwealth and Arab states of the Persian Gulf. They toured South Africa and Tanzania, and met with those countries' respective presidents, Jacob Zuma and Jakaya Kikwete. In March 2012, the Duchess and the Prince of Wales visited Norway, Sweden, and Denmark to mark the Queen's Diamond Jubilee. In May 2012, the royal couple undertook a four-day trip to Canada as part of the Jubilee celebrations. In November 2012, the Duchess and the Prince of Wales visited Australia, New Zealand, and Papua New Guinea for a two-week Jubilee tour. During the Australian tour, they attended the 2012 Melbourne Cup, where the Duchess presented the Melbourne Cup to the winner of the race. In 2013, they went on a tour to Jordan and met with King Abdullah II and his wife, Queen Rania. They visited Syrian refugee camps of the Civil War.
the Duchess attended the state opening of Parliament for the first time in May 2013, and the same month, she travelled to Paris on her first solo trip outside the UK. That same year, they attended the inauguration of Dutch King Willem Alexander, as well as the preceding celebrations in honour of the departing Queen Beatrix. In June 2014, the Duchess and the Prince of Wales attended the 70th anniversary celebrations of D Day in Normandy, France, and in November of that year, they embarked on a nine day tour to Mexico and Colombia. In May 2015, the Duchess and the Prince of Wales visited Northern Ireland and undertook their first joint trip to the Republic of Ireland. In April 2018, the couple toured Australia and attended the opening of the 2018 Commonwealth Games. They also toured the West African countries of the Gambia, Ghana, and Nigeria in November 2018. In March 2019, the Prince of Wales and the Duchess of Cornwall went on an official tour to Cuba, making them the first British royalty to visit the country. The tour was part of offers to strengthen UK Cuban ties. In March 2021, the couple went on their first official foreign visit since the start of the COVID-19 pandemic and visited Greece at the invitation of the Greek government to celebrate the bicentennial of Greek independence. In March 2022, they visited the Republic of Ireland to commemorate the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. In May 2022, the royal couple undertook a three-day trip to Canada as part of the Jubilee celebrations. Queen Consort Camilla became Queen Consort on September 8, 2022 upon her husband's accession as King, following the death of Queen Elizabeth II. On September 10, 2022, Camilla attended the Accession Council where Charles III was formally proclaimed King, where she served as a witness together with her stepson Prince William. The coronation of Charles III and Camilla is due to take place on May 6, 2023. Charities and Patronages Patronages Camilla is the patron of, among other entities, St. Catherine's School, Bramley, Animal Care Trust, the Society of Chiropodists and Podiatrists, Battersea Dogs and Cats Home, British Forces Broadcasting Service, British Equestrian Federation, Dundon Castle, New Queen's Hall Orchestra, St. John Smith Square, London Chamber Orchestra, Elmhurst School for Dance, Trinity Hospice, Georgian Theatre Royal, Arthritis Research UK, The Girls Friendly Society, Nuffield Orthopaedic Centre, Royal National Hospital for Rheumatic Diseases, Plumpton College Charitable Foundation, Elephant Family, Friends of the Royal Academy of Arts, Maggie's Cancer Caring Centers, Cornwall Air Ambulance Trust, and Wiltshire Air Ambulance, as well as President or Patron of other charities. She is also the patron of a non-British body, the P.G. Wodehouse Society of the Netherlands. Camilla is the Honorary Commodore-in-Chief of the Royal Navy Medical Service. In this role, she visited the training ship HMS Excellent in January 2012, to award medals to naval medical teams returning from service in Afghanistan. She is also an honorary member of other patronages and in February 2012, she was elected a bencher of Grey's Inn. In February 2013, she was appointed Chancellor of the University of Aberdeen a role which is ceremonial and involves conferring graduates with their degrees and took up the office in June 2013. She is the first female Chancellor of the University of Aberdeen and only member of the royal family to hold the post since it was created in 1860. In 2015, her presidency of the Women of the World Festival an annual festival that celebrates the achievements of women and girls as well as looking at the obstacles they face across the world, notably domestic violence, was announced. In 2018 and 2020, she became the vice patron of the Royal Commonwealth Society and the Royal Academy of Dance, respectively, of which Queen Elizabeth II was patron. In March 2022, as president of the Royal Voluntary Service, 
Camilla launched the organization's Platinum Champions Awards to honor 70 volunteers nominated by the public for their efforts in improving lives in their communities. In the same month she was made patron of London's National Theatre by Queen Elizabeth II, a role previously held by her stepdaughter-in-law, the Duchess of Sussex. Osteoporosis Victims of Rape and Sexual Abuse Literacy Other Areas Fashion and Style Camilla topped Richard Blackwell's list of 10 Worst Dressed Women in 1994, and her name appeared on it again in 1995, 2001 and 2006. In the years after her marriage, Camilla has developed her own style and tried outfits and ensembles by notable fashion designers. She is said to prefer signature tee and shirt dress styles and favors tones of nude, white and navy and round necklines. She has also been praised for her jewelry collections. In 2018, Tatler named her on its list of Britain's best dressed people, praising her for her hat choices which have given millinery a good name. In 2022, Camilla took part in her first magazine shoot for British Vogue, appearing in the July 2022 issue. The shoot took place at Clarence House, and the outfits were chosen from her own wardrobe. Titles, Styles, Honors and Arms Titles and Styles Upon marrying Charles, Camilla became known as Her Royal Highness the Duchess of Cornwall. In Scotland she was known as Her Royal Highness the Duchess of Rothsey. Legally, Camilla was Princess of Wales but adopted the feminine form of her husband's highest-ranking subsidiary title, Duke of Cornwall, because the title Princess of Wales became strongly associated with its previous holder, Diana. In 2021, upon the death of Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh, Charles inherited his father's titles, and Camilla thus became Duchess of Edinburgh. Clarence House stated on the occasion of Charles and Camilla's wedding in 2005 that, upon his accession, she would adopt the style of princess consort instead of that of a queen, but there is no legal or historical precedent for such a title. In her 2022 Accession Day message, Published to mark the 70th anniversary of her reign, Elizabeth II stated that it was her sincere wish for Camilla to be known as Queen Consort upon Charles's accession to the throne. Since Charles III's accession, Camilla has been styled Her Majesty the Queen Consort. Buckingham Palace has stated that whether Camilla will eventually be known as Her Majesty the Queen, as Queen Consorts traditionally are, is a question for the future. Honours she is a royal lady of the most noble order of the Garter, Dame Grand Cross of the Royal Victorian Order, recipient of the Royal Family Order of Queen Elizabeth II and a member of the Privy Council of the United Kingdom. Arms Issue Ancestry Camilla's ancestry is predominantly English. She also has Dutch, Scottish, Colonial American, French and French Canadian ancestors. Camilla is descended from Dutch emigrant Arnold Joost van Keppel, who was created Earl of Albemarle by King William III of England in 1696, through her maternal great great grandfather William Keppel, 7th Earl of Albemarle. The second Earl of Albemarle married Lady Anne Lennox, the daughter of Charles Lennox, 1st Duke of Richmond, illegitimate son of King Charles II. Through Anne Lennox, her bloodline is descended from the House of Stuart and House of Bourbon. Camilla's Scottish lineage descends from King Robert III of Scotland through his daughter Mary, who was the mother of Sir William Edmonstone of Dentreth, an ancestor of her maternal great-great-grandfather, Sir William Edmonstone, 4th Baronet. Her paternal ancestors, an upper-class family, emigrated to England from Scotland. On her paternal side she is descended from James Shand, 1st Laird of Craig Ely, whose father, also named James, held the office of Provost of Banff. Other noble ancestors on her paternal side include George Keith, 5th Earl Marischal, William Douglas, 7th Earl of Morton, and George Hay, 
First Earl of Kinola. Camilla's French lineage derives partially through her maternal great great grandmother, Sophia Mary McNabb of Hamilton, Ontario, daughter of Sir Alan McNabb, who was Prime Minister of the Province of Canada before Confederation. Sophia was the wife of William Keppel, 7th Earl of Albemarle, and their son was George Keppel. Through Sophia, Camilla is descended from 17th century French colonists Zachary Cloutier and Jean Guyon, who founded some of the principal families of Quebec City. She is also descended from several American loyalists through Sophia, such as Ephraim Jones, born in Massachusetts in 1750, who fought with the British during the American Revolution, was captured at the Battle of Saratoga, and later settled in Upper Canada. His daughter Sophia married John Stewart Jr., the son of John Stewart, who was born in Pennsylvania in 1740 and was chaplain for the 2nd Battalion of the King's Royal Regiment of New York. Through Henry Cavendish, 2nd Duke of Newcastle, Camilla and Charles are ninth cousins once removed. Bibliography Books Forward to Kutcha, Amir the Platinum Jubilee Cookbook John Croft Editions ISBN 9780993354069 Authored Articles and Letters HRH The Duchess of Cornwall, Penny Mountbatten, Shane Williams Why I Support the Silver Line The Telegraph Archived from the original on December 21, 2019 H.R.H. The Duchess of Cornwall A Christmas Message from Her Royal Highness, the Duchess of Cornwall, to you. The Telegraph Archived from the original on January 10, 2022. H.R.H. The Duchess of Cornwall No More Violence Against Women W.I. Life Magazine H.R.H. The Duchess of Cornwall Books need all the help they can get. Daily Mirror Guest Editor H.R.H. The Duchess of Cornwall, Guest Editor Country Life July 13, 2022 See also List of Current Consorts of Sovereigns Footnotes References <laughs>